Okay. Good evening. We are ready for this new class today. Okay. Uh, we have here Sandra and Stephanie. Good job, girls. How was your day? ¿Cómo estuvo su día hoy? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are I'm you? great. Perfect. Excellent. Great. It's awesome to hear that. It's super chivo escuchar eso. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. Okay, perfect. Excellent. Okay. We have Ivania here. Welcome, Ivania. This is Thank your you. class. Excellent. Anytime. Ok. Bien, voy a proyectar. Well, um, esta, eh, hemos estado viendo acerca de eh, las comidas, some, any, right? Um, ayer veíamos las oraciones con los adverbios de frecuencia. Ok, vamos a ver. Eh, sin ver. Ay, vamos a ver cuál es poco. Let's see here. Sin ver. Alguien que me diga tres adverbios de frecuencia. Never, usually, and often. No oh, veas. Yeah, often. Yeah, excellent. Perfect. Thank you, Vania. Excellent. Good job. Ahí tenemos never, sometimes, often, usually, we have uh, hardly ever, never, right? Excellent, perfect. Okay, now we have here uh, the equation. For example, do you ever drink? Y tenemos acá algunas eh, bebidas. For example, tenemos iced tea, eh, que sería té helado. Soda, ya sea cualquier sabor. Coke se refiere a la soda, a la coca negra. Pero soda, in general, is like um, de cualquier sabor. Milk, leche. Juice, jugo, right? Coffee, wine, es vino. Wine, café y vino. Beer, cerveza. Beer. Ok, water, agua, right, and hot chocolate. Hot chocolate. Ok, we have Fatima here, Eliazar, perfect. Welcome, Bernardino, welcome to your class again. It's nice to see you here. Ok, so, esta es nuestra pregunta. Es, significa, ayer veíamos el, es, el significado, alguna vez... Do you ever drink? ¿Alguna vez tomas? Y acá sigue la respuesta, right? Eh, la pregunta, perdón. Por ejemplo, do you ever drink iced coffee? Eh, iced tea eh, for lunch? For example, se puede decir así. Do you ever drink iced tea for lunch? ¿Alguna vez tomas té helado para el almuerzo? Y nuestra respuesta será eh, con los adverbios de frecuencia y nuestro auxiliar. Por eh, ejemplo, aquí, en estas tres, ay, acá me falta ponerle yes, I'm sorry. Yes, porque son yes or not question. Do you remember that? Ok, yes. And we have yes here again. Ok, just that. Yes, I always do. Sí, siempre lo hago. O, o sea, queremos dar a entender que siempre tomamos té helado para el desayuno. Yes, I sometimes do. Sí, a veces lo hago. Ya va bajando la frecuencia, right? Um, and yes, sometimes I do. También se puede de esta manera. ¿Verdad? El, el solamente cambia el orden. O, 
ne no, I never do. No, I never do. Okay, y estas son nuestras opciones de respuesta. O puede ser también, yes, I often do, yes, or no, I hardly ever do. Right? Difícilmente lo hago. Okay. So, for example, Fátima López. Eh, usted me va a responder, no sé, cualquiera de estos o con el que usted quiera, el adverbio. Okay, perfect. Do you ever drink milk for lunch? No, I never do. Never do, right? Perfect. Thank you. Um, let's see. Eh, Ivania. Okay. Do you ever drink wine? Huh? Do you ever drink wine? Eh, vino. Acá tenemos las respuestas posibles. Es que quiero decir a veces. Okay, you can say yes, I sometimes do. Ah. <laughs> okay. Yes, okay. I sometimes do. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um Let's see, Bernardino. Hey, how are you? Hi, how are you? How are you? I'm fine. Okay, um, Bernardino, do you ever drink hot chocolate for for dinner? No, I never do. Thank you so much, Bernardino. Excellent. You're welcome. Anytime. Okay. Okay. So. Um, you see, acá tenemos las posibles respuestas um, de si alguna vez lo hacemos. Y nosotros acá tenemos qué tan frecuente. Okay? La, la pregunta pasada de, significa alguna vez eh, comes esto para el desayuno, comes o tomas esto. Y tenemos con qué frecuencia tú. For example, have, a, have meat or how often do you eat chicken? Sería que o con qué frecuencia tú comes pollo? Con qué frecuencia tú eh, comes hamburguesa? Okay, so for example, um, how often do you eat fish? How often do you eat fish? Podemos decir. Lo voy a escribir para que podamos entenderlo un poco más. How often do you eat fish? Ok. Ah, acá tenemos fish. So, nuestra posible respuesta podría ser I always have fish on Sundays. Yo siempre... Tengo pescado los domingos. Ayer también decíamos que tener, en, en este caso en inglés, es lo mismo que decir yo siempre como, ¿ok? Pero lo utilizamos en este contexto. Have fish. O sea, tener como en nuestro plato o en la mesa. I always, yo siempre tengo pescado los domingos. Okay, ¿Con qué frecuencia? Los domingos. Siempre los domingos. Ok. So, in this case, how often do you eat cucumber? O, oh, vaya, en este caso. She never eats, she never eats cucumber. Cucumber es pepino. Ella nunca come pepino. Ok. Entonces, ¿cómo podríamos preguntar? Que ¿Con qué frecuencia come ella pepino? Easy. How often does, porque estamos hablando en la tercera persona, right? How often does she eat cucumber? How often does she eat cucumber? No tenemos eat aquí, aunque sea tercera persona, porque estamos usando el auxiliar, right? Cucumber. Entonces acá nos responde 
She never eats cucumber. Zero percent, right? Okay, so for example, we have they. They sometimes drink coffee in the morning. Ellos a veces toman café en la mañana. A veces. So, la, la pregunta, ¿cómo sería? A ver, ¿alguien me ayuda a formularla, please? The first thing we have to take in account is how often, right? How often uh, they drink coffee? Mm -hmm. Remember the auxilia, right? They do, do they, do they mm -hmm. drink, drink coffee? Coffee. Right here. Let's see. No, no, no. Here. Yeah. Okay, excellent. How often do they? Do they drink coffee? How often do they drink coffee? Esta es el, el grammar o el esqueleto de las preguntas. ¿Ok? Do siempre va antes del sujeto en las preguntas. ¿Ok? So, how often nuestra WH question también entra en una WH question. Las preguntas de WH, right? Eh, es común que entre también. How often do they drink coffee? They sometimes. Ellos a veces. ¿Con qué frecuencia toman ellos café? Ellos a veces toman café en la mañana. A veces, right? Excellent. One more example. For example, here. Here we have cheese, chicken, queso, pollo, right? E hamburguesa, vegetables, vegetables, los vegetales, meat, la carne, fish, el pescado, bread, el pan, fruit, e la fruta, pizza, la pizza, right? Donuts, donut sandwich, and chocolate. So, for example, how often do, porque quiero utilizar un pronombre plural, how often do the, do the kids, for example, eat pizza? It is a common question. Es una pregunta común. How often do the kids eat pizza? ¿Qué ¿Qué tan frecuente los niños comen pizza? ¿Cómo respondería a uh, Let's see, Sandra? ¿Cuál sería su respuesta, Sandra? Sería they seldom mm -hmm. eat, Excellent. Pizza. eat pizza. Ellos oh. rara vez comen pizza, right? Thank you. Ellos rara vez comen pizza. Okay, another example would be how often does, does your brother have bread for dinner? This is a, a good one. This is una muy buena pregunta. How often does your brother have bread for dinner? Let's see. What would be your answer? Let's see. Um, Fátima. ¿Cuál sería su respuesta, Fátima? ¿Qué, ¿Qué tan frecuente tu hermano tiene o come pan para la cena? He, mm, he's, he's so, sometimes. Okay. He sometimes? Eat bread for dinner. Bread for dinner. 
excellent. In this case, we have the verb have here, but if you say it, it's totally okay. He sometimes eat. Okay, ¿qué falta acá? Uh -huh. La S. La S al verbo. Excellent. Good observation. Falta la S porque estamos utilizando tercera persona. He sometimes eats bread for dinner. Excellent. Bread, it's bread for dinner. Okay. So, for example, Eliazar. Eliazar, ¿qué dijimos que significaba esta pregunta, Eliazar? Pepino, este es pepino, cucumber. Remember. Este, ¿qué tan frecuente come pepino ella? Excellent, right, give him a clap. Thank you so much, Eliazar. Perfect. That was correct. Eso estuvo correcto. ¿Qué, o qué, ¿Con qué frecuencia ella come pepino? Ese sería eh, nuestro significado acá. So, how often, con qué frecuencia, con, eh, qué tan frecuente, ok, qué tan seguido, eso. Perfect. Do you have a question so far? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta hasta acá? Yes or no. No? Ok, thank you. Ok, we have here different flavors, uh, diferentes sabores. Ok, for food. I'm sorry. We have sweet. We have salad. We have spicy. We have sour. And we have tasteless. Sweet significa dulce. This is salad. Salado, right? Spicy, picante. Sour. Um, sa eh, let's see. Acido, acido, acido. And tasteless, sin sabor. El agua no debe tener sabor, right? Eh, porque si no, es porque está o contaminada o something like that. Ok, el agua es tasteless. Perfect. Um, we have different food here. For example, gummies. Gomitas, apple, manzana, ice cream. Oh, aquí. It was my, my bad. Ice cream. Okay. There you go. Ice cream, helado. Um, fish. Entra en salad, right? French fries. También entra en salado. Y las papas fritas. Red paper. Red pepper, red pepper. Entra en picante, spicy. Rice. Eh, bien, el rice puede estar picante. Si ponemos mucho red pepper, right? Or green pepper. Eh, o si le agregamos chile, puede estar spicy. Sour. El limón es ácido. And the vegetables could be sour. ¿Por qué pueden ser ácidos? For example, if you put lemon on the plate, right? Si ustedes ponen limón en el plato, ya sea que tengamos un pepino, ya sea que tengamos, um, let's see, una zanahoria, podría estar sour. Los diferentes sabores. Taste less. Sin sabor. Ok. Eh, acá los dulces, los salados, los picantes y 
lo demás, right? Que sería eh, lo ácido y el sin sabor. Esos son nuestros flavors. Perfect. What else can be sweet? ¿Qué más puede ser sweet? Mm -hmm. Do you remember? No. Candy. Candies. Perfect. Thank you. Candies. Candies can be sweet. Pueden ser eh, dulces. Candies. Chocolate. Eh, Chocolate. Chocolate, thank you so much. Chocolate. Um, yeah, perfect. Sugar. Sugar is sweet, right? Perfect. Um, spicy, también tenemos candies that are spicy, right? Los dulces mexicanos son spicy. Okay, what else can be salad? What else can be salad? Let's see, fish, French fries, meat, meat. Chicken. meat, chicken. Thank you so much. Perfect. Meat and chicken. Okay. What else can be sour? Orange. Orange. Mm -hmm. Perfect. The kiwi is sour sometimes, right? Um, let's see, let's see. Green apple. Yeah, eh, apple, green apple, yeah, green apple. Thank you so much. And tasteless. Solo el, la water, right? Eh, sometimes I think pacaya is tasteless. No tiene mucho sabor la pacaya, right? A menos que le pongamos limón, ahí se convertiría en sour. <laughs> Okay, thank you. Thank you for your examples. Okay, okay here we have um, a reading and we have an audio as well. Tenemos un audio y el reading. So, vamos a ponerlo. Okay, give me a moment, please. And pay attention to that when it starts playing. Okay. Okay, we have it here. Okay, vamos a escuchar este, este audio y de una vez ustedes pueden ir anotando la respuesta porque ya está en la plataforma. Okay, so nosotros escuchamos la, el audio y luego tienen acá el, como el, el examen, una pequeña práctica que se les pone ahí. Entonces, pongan mucha atención a... Traten de agarrar todo lo que ustedes puedan. And then we can discuss that. Podemos discutir eso. Everyone tries to find the coin for luck and... Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll read an article about special foods. You will also develop skills in scanning and reading for details. On New Year's Day... Many people eat special foods for good luck in the new year. Some Chinese people eat tangerines. Tangerines are round. Round foods end and begin again, like years. It is a Jewish custom to eat apples with honey for a sweet new year. Greeks eat vasilopita, bread with a coin inside. Everyone tries to find the coin for luck and money in the new year. In Spain and some Latin American countries, people eat 12 grapes at midnight on New Year's Eve. One grape for good luck in each month of the new year. On New Year's Day in Japan, people eat mochi, rice cakes, for strength in the new year. Some Americans from southern states eat black-eyed peas and rice with colored greens. The black-eyed peas are like coins, and the greens are like dollars. Okay, eating for a good look. 
eh, comiendo para buena suerte. Ok, in different countries they eat different things. For example, Chinese people eat tangerines. Eh, las mandarinas. Ok, ellos comen mandarinas and they are round. What does round mean? Tangerines are round. Uh -huh. ¿Alguien que se le venga alguna idea? About round. Redondas, ok. Las, eh, las mandarinas son redondas. So, eh, round foods and, and begin again like years. La comida redonda, o en este caso las mandarinas, como son redondas, terminan, pero ellas comienzan de nuevo. Ok, it's like a circle, right? We have a circle there like years. So, some people, some Chinese people eat tangerines. Para empezar con buena suerte el nuevo año. Ok, so we have here, it is Jewish custom to eat apples. Es una tradición judía comer <clears throat> eh, apples with honey. What does it mean? ¿Qué significa? A ver, alguien, alguien. Apples Manzana with... con miel. <clears throat> Thank you. Manzana con miel. For a sweet new year. What does it mean? For a sweet... Para un año dulce. Perfect. Thank you. Para un año dulce. So, Greeks eat basilopita. It's the name of the bread. El basilopita es el nombre del de pan. With a coin inside. Everyone tries to find the coin for luck and money in the new year. Una, eh, una moneda where? Where is, the, where is the coin? Inside. Inside, adentro, right? Adentro y todos tratan de encontrarla eh, para, tener un, una, un buen, eh, para tener un año con buena suerte. So, if you find the coin... You will have look for the new year. Si usted la encuentra, usted tiene eh, el, eh, la buena suerte, right? En España dice, in Spain and some Latin American countries. En España y algunos eh, países eh, latinoamericanos, sorry. People eat 12 grapes at midnight. Las personas comen 12 uvas at midnight. What does it mean? Midnight. Medianoche. Medianoche, thank you. Medianoche en la noche de, de antes de, de nuevo año. En este caso sería el 31, right? Una uva para buena suerte. Ok, so if the year has 12 eh, months, they eat 12 grapes, right? Es, es muy común. Yo ya lo he escuchado, algunas personas lo hacen. Eh, do you do that, for example? ¿Hacen eso ustedes? ¿Alguna vez lo han yes, hecho? Yes, perfect. Ok. It is a custom, right? It is, es una costumbre. Ok, so por un año de buena suerte. Una uva, right? Um, one on New Year's Day in Japan, people eat mochi. En el día de, de nuevo año, en Japón, ellos comen mochi, que son como los, um, las tortitas de arroz para e fuerza el otro año. ¿Ok? Y... Dice, some Americans from southern state, de, del sur, let's say, de, de, yeah, del sur, eat black-eyed peas, que son como las, los frijoles blancos. Black-eyed peas and rice. What does rice mean? Let's see. Uh -huh. Ajá. <laughs> Rice? 
Arroz. Arroz, thank you. Arroz con co colored greens. Eh, con col, así, la col. La col verde. Y los frijoles blancos significan las monedas. Y la col significan los dólares. Ok, for money, right? Money, money. Ok, that, eh, that is a different costume in different countries. So we have here an exercise about the, the audio. If you can write down your, your answers, answers, please do it. Si ustedes pueden escribir las, um, las respuestas que vamos a dar aquí, háganlo, please. And then you only complete. Okay, this. Some Chinese people eat tangerines. Tangerines are round like years. Tenemos que corregir. Por ejemplo, aquí decía are sweet. Pero las tangerines, las mandarinas, no siempre son dulces, right? Y en el audio decía que eran redondas, redondas. So here, let's pay attention here. Let's see. Some Jewish people eat apples with candy for a sweet new year. Is that correct? No. No. ¿Qué tenemos que cambiar? Candy, candy, candy with honey. 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 Excellent. Thank you. Candy oh, for yeah. honey. Okay, let's see. Honey. Apples with honey for a sweet, sweet new year. Greeks eat basilopita bread with beans inside. Is that correct? No. What is inside the bread? Coin. Beans or coins? Coins. Excellent. Coins. With a coins inside. In Europe, people eat 12 grapes for good luck in the new year. Is that correct? <clears throat> okay, for example, in Spain. Yeah, Europe is the same of Spain, right? Pero podemos cambiárselo. In Spain. ¿Y dónde más dice? Latin America. Excellent, thank you. Latin America. Está okay, number, let's see, number four. The Japanese eat chocolate cake for strength in, in the new year. Is that correct? What does... Uh -huh. Rice. Rice cake. Thank you. Rice cake, right? Rice cake. And the last one. Some Americans eat black-eyed peas. Black-eyed peas are like dollars. Is that correct? Dice, algunos americanos comen los frijoles blancos. Los frijoles blancos son como... Let's see, let's see. Here. Bienvenida la, la col que es el dólar. Eh, son dólares, right? In, in this case, uh -huh, it's like coins. The black eyed bees are like coins. Perfect. We have it here coins. Like coins. Okay. Perfect. Like coins. Okay, do you have a question so far? Or we can go to the next part. Okay, we can go to the next part. Tenemos un video también acerca de... Um, de otro tema. Ahora sí vamos a entrar a otro tema. Section 5. 
ya, ya estamos en la sección 5, así que yo les animo a que puedan ir llenando la plataforma si aún no lo han hecho, llenando la eh, sección 4. Okay. We'll be talking about sports and seasons. Eh, los deportes y las temporadas del año. Let's do it. Tennis, play volleyball. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn vocabulary related to popular sports in the U.S. and Canada. Let's get started by listening and practicing the vocabulary. Sports seasons in the U.S. and Canada. In the spring, people play golf and play soccer. In the summer, people play baseball, play tennis, play volleyball, and go swimming. In the fall, people play football, go bike riding, and go hiking. In the winter, people play hockey, play basketball, go ice skating, and go skiing. Now it's your time to put this vocabulary into practice. I would like for you to describe the sports that you play in different seasons. For example, in the spring, I play soccer. In the summer, I go swimming. In the fall, I play football. In the winter, I play basketball. Try to give as many examples as you possibly can. Think about your family, friends, and coworkers, and the sports that they play. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forum. Okay. We have different uh, sports and seasons. Um, for example, this is the in the U.S., right? They have um, all the seasons. Nosotros acá no tenemos todos, todas las temporadas. Solamente tenemos summer and winter. Que en este caso es summer, verano, winter, invierno. Okay. Spring, primavera. And fall is otoño. <clears throat> so play golf, play soccer. In the fall, people play football, right? People play football or people bike riding. Bike riding means a eh, paseo en bicicleta. If you have a bike, you have you go bike riding. Uh, go hiking. Eh, caminatas, caminatas largas, ya sea en un volcán, en a, in a volcano, right? Go hiking. O también podría ser como escalar, escalar, una caminata larga o escalar. In the summer, what does people do in the summer? They play baseball, play tennis, play volleyball, o go swimming. Eh, juegan béisbol o tenis, o voleibol, o van a nadar, go swimming, go, go swimming. Ok, eh, casi siempre cuando tenemos go, el verbo que le sigue puede ir en ing. Ok, so go swimming, por acá tenemos go biking, in go bike riding. Ok, so in the winter people, en la... En el invierno, las personas play hockey. Aquí casi no es muy común el hockey, right? Pero es, es un deporte sobre hielo. Eh, hockey, play basketball. Eh, ok, basketball. In the winter, in the summer. No, in the winter, right? Go ice skating. En este caso es como patinaje sobre hielo. Ice skating, patinaje sobre hielo, en go skying es esquiar. Es, es diferente. Eh, patinaje sobre hielo es en una pista, right? 
and go skiing, skiing, perdón, go skiing, esquiar, es ya sobre la nieve, al aire libre, y es un poco más de adrenalina. Ok, so, in the spring, en la primavera, yo juego fútbol. En el verano, yo voy a nadar. En el otoño, yo juego fútbol. En el invierno, yo juego básquetbol. Juego básquetbol. Ok. Let's see what do we have here. Ok. Let's see, let's see. <clears throat> ok, for example. Eh, ¿Cómo podría decir yo? Eh, En el otoño, ella juega fútbol. Let's practice that. El negocio familiar puede ser aprobado. Ajá. Do you have an Pero, idea for that? En el otoño. In the fall, she, she plays soccer. Thank you, soccer. En el otoño, ella juega fútbol. Thank you so much. Plays is, this is correct. We have the S here. Thank you so much. In the fall, en el otoño. What if I want to say, um, en el invierno, ellos van a nadar. En el invierno, ellos van a nadar. And, a ver, no es más, one more time. Invierno. In the winter. Uh -huh, perfect. They go swimming. Thank you so much. In the winter, they, they go swimming. ¿Y qué pasa si quiero decir lo contrario? En forma negativa. Okay, do you remember we have... For, for she, he, and it, we have a das. She, he, and it. Excellent. They, I, you, and we. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, let's see. Um, Bernardino. ¿Cómo podría decir, Bernardino, yo eh, en la primavera, la, la, quiero ver, en primavera mi familia, o oh, let's see, en primavera los estudiantes no juegan o no van a esquiar. En primavera los estudiantes no van a esquiar. Primavera, spring, here. En primavera. Okay, let's see, let's see. We have no Bernardino here. Okay, thank you. Um, let's see, Sandra, Carolina. En primavera, los estudiantes no van a esquiar. ¿Quién hace that? Student? The student? student? Uh -huh. Don't go skiing. Skiing. Thank you. Bring the students. Don't go swimming. Ah, oh, skiing. I'm sorry. Skiing, skiing, skiing. In the spring, the students don't go skiing. Okay. Um, now, Ivania. How can I say, Ivania, in the summer, eh, en el verano, let's see, en el verano, eh, ella no, no juega fútbol. En el verano, ella no juega fútbol. Remember, we have thus. Mm -hmm. 
in the summer she does not play football. Play football, okay. Does not. Or, yeah, let's see. Football, football. Yeah, okay. football, there. In the summer, she does not play football. And we don't have an S here because we are using the auxiliary. No utilizamos la S acá porque estamos usando el auxiliar. Ok. Let's see. One more. Um, Fátima López, ¿cómo puedo decir en el verano eh, mi hermano no juega hockey? Uh, in the summer, he doesn't play hockey. Okay, excellent. Play hockey. Let's see, is that okay, hockey? Yeah, ho hockey, yeah. Here we have. In the summer, he doesn't play soccer or my brother... My brother doesn't play hockey. You see, as simple as that. Ahora una positiva. Um, Stephanie, Stephanie, can you help me with this, please? En la primavera, eh, en la primavera, no, let's see, una positiva. En la primavera, yo... Juego tenis. In the spring, I play tennis. I play tennis. Okay, thank you. In the spring, I play tennis. Okay. We have in the fall. She plays soccer. In the winter, they go swimming. In the spring, I play tennis. And in the negative form, in the spring, the students don't go skiing. In the summer, she does not play football. In the summer, my brother doesn't play hockey. Okay, excellent. Let's see. We have here uh, two games. Que okay, tenemos acá dos juegos que nos van a ayudar a practicar. Okay, so if you have the answer, turn on your microphone, enciende tu micrófono, and give me the answer. Es acerca del simple present. Okay. They like playing volleyball. They yeah. likes playing volleyball. Are a, a or B? A. Thank you. Let's see if it is correct. Yes, it is correct. <laughs> Okay. He likes flying kids. Or he doesn't like flying kids. A or B? B. 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 He doesn't, right? Está llorando. He's crying. Thank you. See, what else? What else? She likes riding her bicycle. 
She like riding her bicycle. A or B? A. 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 We have the S in the verb. Thank you. It is correct. Okay, we have a bonus round. Miren, apúntenle a este. A ver, 200 puntos. 200. Okay, aquí. A ver dónde se fue. Ay, lo perdí. Let's see. ¿Cuál, cuál tocamos para que tengamos puntos extra? One, two, three. Five. Three. Three. Three, three or five. <laughs> Four. Three. It's three. Okay. Three. Let's see. Oh, excellent. Three. We have 200 points. Okay, question four. She doesn't like skateboarding. She likes skateboarding. A. A, okay, A. She doesn't? Let's see. It's correct. Perfect. We have another bonus. Ah, no, no, no. We don't have. They don't like doing gymnastics. They like doing gymnastics. A or B? B. B, right? They like. B. They like. <clears throat> uh huh. They like. Excellent. Okay. That's our score. Esa es nuestra puntuación. Let's see. Here I have another one. Let's put it into practice. Okay. Ok, en este caso vamos a ordenar por grupos. Ok, morning routine, school activities, sport activities, and opposite adjectives. Eh, la rutina de la mañana, las actividades de la escuela, o las actividades de deporte, o los adjetivos que sean contrarios. So, in morning routine, ¿qué podemos poner en morning routine? Get dressed. Get dressed. Okay, vestir. Have, right? have a shower. Have a shower. Perfect. Wash your hair. Ah, uh, yeah. Wash your hair. Perfect. Okay. Only that, right? I think only that. Okay, school activities. Get good marks. Ah, okay. Okay. Get good marks. Get bad marks. Get bad ones. Perfect. Calificaciones. Play basketball. Play basketball. Mm, let's see. School activities. Yeah, you can play basketball in the school, but um, in the hang in your homework. We have sports activities. Hang in your homework. Let's see. Hang in your homework. Como obtener. Hang in your homework. O tomar tus calificaciones. I think que se les está dando hand. Es como manos. Obtener tus calificaciones. Um, let's see. Only that, right? Okay. Sports activities. Go swimming. Go swimming. Go swimming. Okay. Play basketball. Play basketball. Play basketball. 
Do exercise. Do exercise. What else? Go ice, ice, ice skating. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Go ice skating. Go skating. Uh, skiing. Go skiing. Mm -hmm. And we have slow. What is the opposite for slow? Fast. Thank you. What is the opposite of good? Bad. Bad. Thank you. Let's see what is the opposite of be? Be late. In, in this case, it would be be on time. Estar a tiempo o estar tarde. Amazing. Okay, I think it is here. Amazing. Como asombroso. It would be terrible. Eh, the opposite. And new. We have old. The opposite, right? Okay, let's see our answers. Well. Okay. Do exercise. Why do exercise? It's not a uh, sport activity, right? Mostrar respuestas. Let's see. Go ice skating, right? That's a sport activity. And be late. No salió mala. Be late, maybe morning routine. <laughs> Porque nos agarra la tarde, right? Maybe. Okay. It was good. It was really, really good. Okay, perfect. We we have here um sport sports season in the US and Canada. Or for example, I could um ask you how often how often do you go swimming? How often I, let's see. do you go swimming? Nuestra respuesta podría ser I always go swimming. I always go swimming. Or in this case, sometimes I go swimming. Okay, sometimes I go swimming. Or for example, uh, Stephanie, if I ask you, how often do you go to the gym? Let's see. Uh, I seldom. Okay. Go in the gym. Go to the gym. Perfect. I seldom. Yo rara vez voy al gym. Perfect. It is a routine, right? Puede ser también nuestra rutina diaria. Okay. Um, if I ask you, Bernardino, um, how often do you go, or let's see, let's see. How often do you play tennis? How often do you play tennis, Bernardino? Okay, Bernardino, maybe he's busy today. Um, Stephanie? Yes. How often? Okay, how often do you play tennis? I never. You play never tennis. play tennis. Thank you. Excellent, Stephanie. Um, Ivania, Ivania. How often do you... Play basketball. I sometimes play basketball. You sometimes. Perfect. Thank you so much. Or for example, if I ask you, how often do you speak Spanish? Let's see, uh, English. Fatima Lopez. How often do you speak English? I... Sometimes. Yeah, perfect. You sometimes speak English very, very well. Sandra Carolina, how often do you speak French? Frances. 
I never speak French. French. Thank you so much. Eliazar, eh, how often do you speak Spanish? Yes, I always do. You always do it, right? I always eh, speak Spanish. In this case, nos están preguntando qué tan seguido. So, respondemos, I always, or sometimes, right? Cuando nos preguntan, do, do you, ever, eh, in eso, um, tenemos que responder con yes or not. So, in this case, you always speak Spanish, right? Okay, perfect. Thank you. Excellent. Anytime. Eh, do you have a question so far? Pregunta, or it's everything clear? No question is clear. No question. Thank you so much, Ivania, for your answer. Okay, sin nada más que decir. Tengan buenas noches, descansen, no se olviden de la plataforma, y nos vemos mañana. See you, see you, bye-bye. Bye-bye, good night. Bye-bye, good night. Best a lot. Bye-bye, see ya. See you tomorrow, bye.